yeah. Okay. I'll do that. So <laughs> shut up. Keywords. Shut up. Okay, okay. All right. So we are here. Hi, I'm Veronica. We're here with uh, Bonnie and Kyla hey. and Cthulhu hey. Kitty. And we're at VidCon uh, 2013, and we are answering some questions from the Twitters. Woo! The first question, uh, do you get compared to Betty Page? Uh, if yes, flattered or offended, this from comes from uh, Harold L. Smith. No, I haven't, but I bet Bonnie has. I have, and it's flattering. Flattering! It's flattering! She's the best. <laughs> the next question from James at Raven Nerd. When sorted at Hogwarts, what house would you go to? Um, ooh. I don't think I'm a Slytherin girl. What do you guys think? Uh, All I know is I keep getting sorted as Hufflepuff. I, it pisses I me off. I feel like I'm Hufflepuff. <laughs> no, you're Ravenclaw. I'm Ravenclaw? Yeah, because Ravenclaw are the super serious, like, um, smart girls and boys. Yeah. Like the A-plusers, and you're definitely an A-pluser. Yeah. I'm Slytherin because goths are automatically Slytherin. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But Cedric was a Hufflepuff, and I would just like to say that. Okay, defense. moving on. <laughs> Delphine Dupont, Delphine Dupont, Ooh. wants to know, uh, do you know any tongue twisters and will you demonstrate one? That's a personal question. Uh, uh, I can do the way tongue twisters. I know what she means, but I'm just going to do this. Uh, <laughs> clamshell tongue. Um, wow. Peter Piper picked a peck of pe pickled peppers. How many peppers did Peter Piper pick? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many peppers did Peter Piper pick? Plenty, I suppose. How's she doing that with alcohol? Father, I'm so much an alcohol. Oyster shucker. I'm an oyster shucker son, and I'll be shucking oysters till the oyster shuckers come. Hey, <laughs> speaking of oysters and coming, tipping the velvet is this month's vaginal fantasy pick. Woo! That's relevant if you're reading the book. <laughs> um, Jeff Garlic wants to know what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given and who gave it to you? <laughs> the best piece of advice is don't read the comments. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's the only advice you ever need. Unless you're drunk and bored. <laughs> Unless you're drunk and bored and have a death wish. <laughs> or me. Or your Bonnie. Yeah, whatever. Ian wants to know, what heroes or heroines in fantasy sci-fi make the best role models for young boys and girls? That's a really good question. That's a serious question. That's a, really a serious question. question. That's a question I can't answer when I'm this drunk. Say Deadpool. Why is the answer always Deadpool? Because that's a... High. Yeah. Huh? Hawkeye! This Pizza. is not... Alright, this is comic book shit. This is not sci-fi fantasy. Oh. Okay? Uh, anti-heroes. I love an anti-hero. Who doesn't love an anti-hero? Puff the magic dragon! <laughs> what? I don't know why these people are my friends. He's sci-fi! But he's, no, he's not! He's fantasy! Hey. Gosh, I don't have a really good answer for that. I'm gonna have to think about that yeah, one. Okay, next one is funny. From <laughs> Sal. Sal wants to know, Sal Len, if you were immune to alcohol, which alcohol would you consume in mass quantities during vaginal fantasy hangouts? <laughs> he actually said handouts, but I think he means hangouts. Um, oh, red wine. Yeah. I'm a red wine girl or whiskey, if I had to make a second choice. But wait, the question is, what would you drink if it didn't affect you? Why would you drink it? Right? I don't That's understand the question. question. <laughs> I don't so understand the question. question. You. So wait a minute, I'm that, confused! Wouldn't that be like absinthe? That affects me. Oh, okay. What do you mean? What? I was the most drunk on vaginal fantasy ever on absinthe. You all were. Yeah. 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 Okay. When you fell off the chair. Yes. <laughs> Christian wants to know what is the book from your teens that you remember with more fondness, and which do you liked and makes you feel ashamed now? Mm. Which makes me feel ashamed now? Ashamed. Um, the most, the book that I remember most from my teenage years is probably. Oh, goodness gracious. Joy of Sex, Forever by Judy Bloom. <laughs> really? The Joy of Sex? <gasps> Wifey by Judy Bloom. Wifey, but I read that. Before. That's a serious one, right? Well, yeah. It's, it's young adult. It's still, no, it's an adult. Um, um, Robert Heinlein. Really? Sail Beyond the Sunset. I read it when I was 16. But are you embarrassed by it now? Well, I mean, that's pretty adult. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff in there. Um, gosh. I really liked a lot of stuff in high school. Um, what did you secretly read? What was your secret? Babysitter's read? Club. No one knew about Babysitter's uh, Club. Sweet Belly High. Babysitter's Club. Babysit you read I read all the Babysitter's Club yeah, books. All the summer specials. And that was a secret? That was not a sci-fi fantasy book. No. But I liked Tail Chaser Song by Tad Williams. Oh, yes. I liked all of the Dresden File books. Because those were actually out when I was in high school, I think. Thank you. Um... <laughs> 
The Other Land series by Ted Williams. I like I liked a lot of Ted Williams. I read oh, a lot God, of Ted yeah, Williams. Um, Robin Hobb is one of my favorites. Assassin's Apprentice. God, you guys actually read. Jane, uh, Jane Liskold, Through Wolf's Eyes, one of my favorites. What's that? It was a fancy book about a, a, a guy that could speak to wolves, a girl what? that could speak to wolves. That's hot. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, okay, that's a lot. Tell us about the good times with Mr. Little Jeans. He was just the best. He was the best cat ever, and if I talk about it, I'm going to cry, so I'm going to skip that question. Uh, Puppy Farts wants to know, when will you get back into gaming? <laughs> I'm playing games right now. I just started playing... Uh, I just started playing fucking... Um, <laughs> Puppy Farts is the best the, username of all time. That was the best segue. Ryan ever. and I, Ryan and I, my husband, yeah. talk about Puppy Farts all the time because we love your username. Just so you know that. Um, <laughs> whenever you tweet at me, I crack up. Because your username... Alright, I'll show it to you. It's the little dog with the eyes. Aww. Are his eyes farting? It's the serious eyes. I don't know how to his explain it. Farts. Puppy farts! <laughs> I favorited all the questions, as you can see. That's Aww. puppy farts. Um, when will I get... I'm playing... I'm playing uh, Lara Croft right now. Oh. And I'm really liking it. And I'm Tomb almost done. Raider, the new, Tomb Raider, really the new Tomb Raider. I'm a little behind, granted. Um, but I'm trying to get back into it. Um, in the interest of gender equality, panties or boy shorts? Um, well... Boy shorts, because the word panties is terrible. It's terrible. Underpants. But I actually wear panties. Knickers. Daniel Shaw wants to know, why do you hate Pinot Grigio? This is a callback to a tweet from earlier this week. I don't hate Pinot Grigio. I just wanted Pinot Noir more. I don't think that's unreasonable. Is it that you don't hate Pinot Grigio, but Pinot Grigio hates you? I'm not good with white wine. It gives me <laughs> headaches. So we'll it just we'll headache. just end it. Line cook. Well, my friend Richie wants to know, if you had to pick one Avenger to throw into the sun, which Avenger would it be? Captain America. Yes! Really? That guy Definitely. Like Captain America. Like, oh. Smug. Yes. Yeah. Captain Smug. Captain Smug, dude. Kind of a dick. Really yeah. jingoistic. Uh, Rhyme Style wants to know, uh, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses, and why? One horse-sized duck. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a giant duck. <laughs> a giant duck versus a hundred horse. horse si wait. Oh, well, no, no, no. Gi One horse-sized duck, duck or 100 duck-sized horses. Well, I can, feel like they would overwhelm you really can fast. The horse, yeah. Can the horses fly? Are they like Pegasus? Ducks can't Pegasi? fly. Pegasi? Ducks can fly. They ducks, ducks can fly. Chickens, <laughs> chickens don't fly. Ducks fly, wow. chickens don't fly. Whoa. Those are different. All right, that's it. <laughs> oh, and finally, Trevor wants to know, what is the meanest comment someone has ever left you in some internet forum? Mm. All of them. But probably Veronica Belmont got fat. What? That's mean. Yeah, I, so what, who cares? What's fat? Yeah, you're fat. Do you think fat. it was P-H-A-T, like you're down with the teens? It wasn't spelled that way, but oh. I'm going to assume that's what he meant. Oh. I'm going to assume, that gonna assume that's what are he you, meant. Are you going to answer my question? Well, I don't, I didn't favorite it. What? What's the question? The question is, how naked have you been on YouTube of your knowledge? Like, you know, were you ever in a bikini episode of something? Or uh, short shorts? Or No. Uh, tank top? Um, I did an episode That's of Core. Great. I did an episode of Core back in the day for PlayStation Network where we were shooting in Phoenix and it was 116 degrees out and I wore cut-off shorts and a tank top and that is literally... To my knowledge, okay. the most naked I've ever been on a video. Okay, everyone's Googling that. Yeah, to be, it's called to be Continued. Google Daisy Duke, <laughs> Daisy Duke Veronica. I'm sure it's on the web somewhere. All right, that is it for Veronica Answers Some Questions. That is not the official name for the show. <laughs> Say goodbye, Kyla and Bonnie. Bye, bye Kyla and Bonnie. Oh, that, was, that was really literal, guys. Oh, sorry. All right, bye.